After transcription occurs, the mature mRNA needs to find a ribosome. Ribosomes are the site of translation. The step of protein synthesis where mRNA code translates into an actual protein. The ribosome is made of two subunits, the large subunit and the small subunit. Both parts are made of a mixture of protein and ribosomal RNA. The small subunit has a binding site for the mRNA strand. The large subunit has three binding sites for tRNA molecules, but only two tRNA molecules can bind at the same time to the ribosome. The binding sites are called the A site, which stands for amino acyl site, P or peptidyl site, and E or exit site. The ribosomes move along the RNA to build protein with the help of tRNA. More than one ribosome can translate one mRNA molecule at the same time. This is even visible from an electron microscope, and these structures are called polysomes, clusters of ribosomes on a strand of mRNA in the process of translating. Each ribosome moves down the length of the mRNA until the polypeptide is completed. tRNA molecules have the job of bringing the correct amino acid to the ribosome, for the section of mRNA that's being translated. The anticodon of the tRNA molecule will complement the codon of the mRNA molecule, ensuring the correct amino acid is added. To attach an amino acid to the tRNA molecule, a tRNA activating enzyme is used. The binding process occurs in two steps. The enzyme binds ATP to the amino acid to form an amino acid AMP complex linked by a high energy bond, and two phosphates are released. Then, the amino acid is coupled to tRNA and the AMP is released. The tRNA molecule is now charged and ready for use. The stored energy of this charged molecule will be used to provide the energy to form peptide bonds at the ribosome during translation. Now we're ready for translation, the production of a polypeptide. To begin translation, the small subunit attaches to the mRNA and the start codon of the mRNA, AUG, must be complemented by the anticodon, UAC, of the tRNA molecule that's carrying methionine. The large subunit of the ribosome attaches to the small subunit so that the tRNA molecule is in the P site. The next tRNA molecule attaches to the complementary codon at the A site, and a peptide bond is formed between the amino acids. Now the cyclical steps for elongation of the polypeptide will occur. The ribosome translocates three bases at a time, moving the tRNA molecule in the P site to the E site, and the tRNA molecule in the A site to the P site. The tRNA molecule in the E site will be ejected, and a new tRNA molecule will bind to the A site, creating a new peptide bond in the process. Then, the cycle repeats with translocation of the ribosome and the tRNA molecules until the full length of the polypeptide is made. Termination occurs when a stop codon is reached and the final polypeptide is released. The sequence and number of amino acids in the final polypeptide that's produced is called its primary structure. Hydrogen bonds form between carboxyl groups and amino acid groups, creating spiraling alpha helixes and beta pleated sheets. This is called the secondary structure. The tertiary structure is the overall three-dimensional shape of the protein that's formed by further folding because of interactions between R groups. Hydrophilic regions will orient toward the outside, and hydrophobic regions toward the inside. Additionally, R groups of the amino acid cysteine can form a covalent bond with the R group of another cysteine, forming a disulfide bridge. Some proteins form a quaternary structure, where several polypeptide chains work together to form the fully functional protein. Hemoglobin is made of four polypeptide chains, two alpha chains, and two beta chains. Protein synthesis in prokaryotes can occur immediately after transcription because there's no nuclear membrane separating the DNA from the ribosomes. 
but in eukaryotes, the mRNA has to travel outside the nucleus to find a ribosome. Ribosomes can be free-floating in the cytosol or bound to the endoplasmic reticulum. Free ribosomes make proteins that are used in the cytoplasm, mitochondria, and chloroplasts. Bound ribosomes make proteins that are used in the ER, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, the plasma membrane, and for outside of the cell. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.